Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to do a really quick um, comparison between the Rouge Coco Flash Boy and Rouge Coco Shine Boy. So there was a lot of controversy when the Rouge Coco Shine lipsticks were reformulated and repackaged. Uh, because the best seller, which was the shade Boy, was not the same. And so I kind of wanted to do a quick little video to show you the comparison of both colors. Because something fun to talk about. I happen to have both of them. So before... I started to dip my toes into luxury beauty. I one of the very first lipsticks I bought and it was while I was in Paris on my honeymoon was Rouge Coco Shine Boy. It is a sheer balm lipstick, which is the one that I'm wearing now is the original one. It is a very shiny yet um lipstick like formula it's very hydrating it's very moisturizing and it does have color um but the original one is cooler toned than the new one the new one is much warmer and so the first com before we get into uh swatches i really quick want to show you the comparison and packaging so this is the original one where the top was not clear. Let's see if my camera is going to focus on that. The top was not clear. It was that classic black and gold Chanel packaging. Now the new ones have the same black and gold packaging, but the top shows the color sort of through that clear uh, top that's happening there. That's like plastic, but you can kind of see the color. Okay, so the, new, the original packaging was slightly slimmer than the new one. And you can see when you kind of hold them together, right next to each other, one is slightly bulkier than the other. The new one is bulkier than this one but very minimal when they did reformulate you still get you still got the same amount of product which was uh 0.1 ounces and in reference to pricing that also stayed the same at 38 dollars however the color is not the same and I have been hoarding mine and I keep mine in my purse. I, I've used quite a lot of it. I just want to show you the bullet, how far in there it is. I've used quite a bit. Um, but really, I keep this in my purse because sometimes I just want a little, little color on my lips. Not a lot. Um, this formula is very, the original for, formula is very slippy and very moisturizing it has a scent and it had like a it has like a taste like a slight taste to it which i don't get with my other chanel lipsticks so that's one thing that i did notice from the original formula now really quick let me show you the bullets right next to each other so that you can see the difference in color and i'm also gonna swatch it on the back of my hand. I haven't used the new one, in case you all were wondering. I have other Rouge Coco Flash colors, but my this particular color I haven't used. So as you can see, the colors are different. They are not by a lot but they they are different so i'm gonna swatch them really quick on the back of my hand here and then i will also put it on my lips all right so 
So here are the colors. This was the original shade. This is the new shade. In my opinion, the new shade is slightly lighter than the original shade. You definitely can build it up, but they're, they're not exactly the same. One is warmer than the other. Um, the new one is warmer than the original. Now, one thing um, I was wondering, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, is so this lipstick has been, the original one had, has been around forever. And the shelf life on these lipsticks didn't change either. The new one and the original one say 18 months on it. But I wonder if because the original one was technically a little bit older, right? Because when you buy things from the store, they're not 100% like fresh. Like they didn't just receive it, you know? So you don't really know how long that lipstick has been sitting on the shelf before you came along and bought it. Uh, I wonder if because it's slightly older, if it makes the color change slightly and that's why we think that the color is not the same. I thought about that, um, but I don't really know how true that is. <laughs> so really quick, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna get up close so that you guys can see this color. This is the original boy. And then now I'm going to go ahead and put on the new one. All right, so I have now applied the new shade. And on the lips, you really can't tell the difference in shade. It's so it's so slight and I'm okay with it. It's not, you know, it's still one of my favorite shades from the Coco Shine and Coco Flash line, because you know, I know they're, they're now called the Coco Flash, but um, I'm okay with it. Just wanted you guys to get a good view. I don't really see a very huge difference in shade. And so I wasn't, so upset about it when it changed a little bit because the color difference was so slight and i've allowed the color to dry down a little bit have my skin absorb it uh, on the back of my hand and and i wanted to show you guys this swatch one more time one is a bit warmer than the other but it's so slight that i don't even think the camera picks it up how slightly different the color is. So now um, let's talk about texture. The original one versus the new one. I have applied both of them on my lips. The old one had a slightly stronger taste than the new one. The new one really hardly has um, it tastes and it doesn't have a scent. I can't smell it. I really can't. It doesn't have that Chanel scent that you know most of the products have. Um, in reference to texture, they're both they're both slippy. They're both glossy and moisturizing. But I find that the original one is slightly, slightly less slippy in texture and feeling on the lip than the original one, which I, I actually prefer. Cause one of the things I, I didn't like about the original one was that it was actually a little too slippy to the point where I felt that it kind of went outside the borders of my lips sometimes, uh, sometimes at the corners. Uh, I felt that it went into my mouth a lot when I would talk you know, so 
that was just one thing that I believe that they improved with the new formula. So it is so rare for a brand to reformulate some a, a bestseller, something that we love, a staple in our makeup routine and have us love it. Usually reformulations 80% of the time don't work out and you know exactly what I'm talking about. But in my opinion, I find that I truly like the Coco Flash formula a bit better than the Coco Shine formula. I don't see, I, there were slight improvements. It is the same thing um, the, as far as pigmentation. I feel like the pigmentation from the original ones to the new ones are the same. And I find that in my opinion, because I can only speak about my my personal, you know, experience with these lipsticks is I like the new one better. I think that it has a bit more uh, consistency. I like the texture um, a bit more. And I do appreciate that it doesn't have that taste that the original one had. I found it to be... I don't mind scent in my cosmetics. I just don't want to taste it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Sometimes we buy lip glosses that have a that have a scent, but they also have a taste. Like one of those products would be the Bare Minerals Buttercream Lip Glosses. They have a nice scent and I love the texture of it, but I really hated the fact that I could always taste my lip gloss. So that's pretty much everything I have to say about the original Coco Flash versus the Shine formula. So if you guys haven't uh, got, if you were a diehard fan of the Shine formula and you kind of been on the fence uh, with trying the Rouge Coco, I'm sorry, let me start again. If you were a Coco Shine diehard fan and you have been on the fence about trying the new Coco Flash lipsticks, I recommend them. Just give it a try. It's not as bad as you think it's gonna be. It's pretty much the same thing with a few tweaks that I find to be a huge improvement. Now, if you already own the Coco Flash lipsticks, let me know in the comments below which color is your favorite. There was one color in the original line called In Time, which was number 93, that when they reformulated the, the, the lipsticks and came out with the new shades, this was a color that didn't make it uh, into that reformulation. And it's never come back. And I was very sad to see it go. That's why I am currently holding and hoarding an original version of it. It was this be beautiful purple uh, mauve toned lipstick. I'm gonna swatch it really quick here in the back of my hand. This was such a beautiful shade. I never, I never saw a similar color come back. It's this one right here. It's much more pink and mauve than Boy. Boy's, you know, warmer with a more of a sort of pinky brown undertone versus in time is like this beautiful pink with a little bit of a splash of lavender in there i never saw this color come back and i am hoping that chanel's just been holding off and they will be releasing a color similar to this if you guys are not as obsessed with beauty as I am and you guys don't vulture over websites and products randomly for no apparent reason I completely understand I understand that I'm the one with the problem and so I have certain pages that are always open on my phone and I randomly at least once a day go into the sites to see if there's anything new because Chanel loves to release new things and not send emails, even though I am subscribed to their emails. And there is one Coco Shine lipstick that right now is on their site called Feel that is not available. It says coming soon, 
but it looks really similar to in time but you know you can never trust the pictures on a website you really have to swatch it in store in order to really see if the color is the same because a lot of the times i have ordered things off of websites using the pictures that chanel like puts on and then when i get to the store and i swatch it it's completely different it's like a completely different color and so that's why i always wait until it goes to my local department store it's usually bloomingdale's where i purchase my chanel products however a lot of the products are exclusive to chanel and they do not they do not release those products to any department store and you can only get them on chanel.com at that point you're just gonna have to risk it if you really want that product you're just gonna have to risk it and i did that with rouge v because rouge v i wanted the limited edition packaging but m even though my local store had it they didn't they weren't going to get the limited edition packaging so i just i ordered it on a whim and thank god i loved it but yeah anyways i'm gonna stop rambling thank you so much for watching if you own a coco flash lipstick that is very similar to in time let me know in the comments below because i will be purchasing that asap Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you're all staying safe and sane, and see you next time. Bye.